Alright there, old mate Yogi here, welcoming you back to Football Manager 2024 on the final whistle with my rise from managing tier 13 amateur league at FC to hopefully getting a football team from England to be European champions and hopefully I can make it my forever home I hope at uh, Chatham Town we are currently in League 2 tier 4 uh, and looking like we might get promoted. We're not actually sealed automatic promotion yet. But there are four games left. Whoops. And we are... Where are we? 12 points up. There's 12 points to play for. We are 12 points up. We are equal with Southend United. And a head on goal difference only. So we might not get championship. But hopefully we will get uh, automatic promotion. This could be the game where we seal it because if they, if we get one point more than them this game, that means if we actually no, if they don't get three points, or we get at least one, that's a better way of putting it. Then uh, that's it. We're automatically promoted. Why? There'd only be nine games left to play. Uh, nine points left to play for. If they don't get three points. They can't get within nine points of us. We have to lose everything and they have to win everything. So what we're going to do is a slight change the plan. So we're going to bring you the last two games. I'm going to bring you Shrewsbury. to start out. See if we can get that uh, automatic uh, promotion. AFC Telford to wind out. And if it looks like we're going to secure... Um, the championship on one of these games and I don't think we can do it on walking uh, no because even if we win this we could only be three and they lose we could only be three points up six points up Cambridge would be the first one where we might be able to secure um, championship so I'll bring in Shrewsbury AFC Telford and if it looks like we're going to secure championship in Cambridge I'll bring you the close out all right I will see you for the, uh, those games Alright, game on and game one. It is us away at Shrewsbury. I don't play Shrewsbury. Let's have a look at the others around us, shall we? South End. Where are they? Playing at home against 8th place Tranmere. Charlton. Ah, they're away against Cambridge in 16th place. And Stevenage. Stevenage is the other main one to watch, to be honest. At home against 10th place, Bromley. See what happens, shall we? Alright, team selection. Uh, we've got... Uh, let's see him on the bench, that's not where I want to... That's not where I want him. I want him there. I want these two to try and get their work permit if they can. Didn't work out, did it? Come on. McShane's fine. Oh, have our loanies gone back? They bloody have, you know. They've gone back. Okay. Oh, no, there's Edwards playing centre back, which you don't need to be playing centre back, mate. You need to be playing um, the Lee McShane up there. Now, you're not playing centre back. I can play. I can take Blue McShane off centre back and put Reedy on there. Got a lot of issues here, hang on. Edwards there. Gray there. Higher can go out there. Oh no, Braceweight there. And uh 
not in the hand of the calling. How or Harriman's injured, that's why. So he Maybe I put uh Reedy out on the left. Let's no higher can play all across the back, that's fine. Alright. Jimenez, Edwards. Alright, that'll work, hopefully. Let's get them out there. Team's happy. The problem with this screen where it is, is you can't make the changes they want afterwards. I mean, you can when you get out to the match, but that'd be useful with you able to go back and change map. York got it right by standing Braithwaite. Reed looks short of fitness. He's fine. Just doesn't play as much as he might need. Is that a rest? Don't be fine. Out we go. Am I not on the right setting? Nope. There we are. Okay, let's kick off. Let's see what we can do. Remember, we're trying for automatic promotion first, and um, we're trying for championship second. So the two to watch it really is Southend and whatever fourth place was. Simovsky, Jimenez, Braithwaite. Braithwaite plays it all the way back to Reed, up to Edwards, and Jimenez. Lenahan takes a shot, and that was a. I mean, it could have been worse. But it wasn't a great shot. Read for them with a attacking free kick. Ooh, Pam down by the keeper, nodded away, and then put over by Aaron Redding. Made it, made it. Delay Waters with the corner on the left, on the right rather, and that's headed home. We are losing. Go attacking. Try and take the game to them fully. Simovsky with the right-handed corner into the box, headed away. He can get it back. Across to Joe Reed, but back to Braithwaite. Reed, come on. Gray, oh come on! Stop being moved back, Edwards. Now it's all Edwards. Higher, Lenahan on the left wing, pushed back again to Edwards. Lenahan, chance to move up. Nope, he's being covered too well higher. Forward to Lenahan, who's on a break here. Plays it in for Hussein, who equalises. Nice. One all. All that build up play was worth it then. Doherty with a. Direct free kick long way out, decides to play it in instead, and they've gone ahead. Nope, Delamere was offside actually, okay. Come on, just tell them to... Keep it going. Step it up if they can. Get out there and hopefully win. 50 minutes in. Ooh, direct free kick just outside the 18 yard box. Off to Woodwork, damn it! And that's gone out for a throw. All right, Reedy wants to come off. Uh, so, what the hell are you trying to put Price on for? We'll put Edwards on. 
and then uh, Lee McShane on for Reedy there. Anyone else? Do I have to do anything else with the back? Could take Vessel him and his off, but I don't think I need to right now. Delamere to Young. Pushed backwards. Plays it up for Reed, who's away on the right. Stopped there, he's blocked again, and he's out for the corner. Couple of shots there from uh, Shrewsbury. Quickly into the box, and it's nothing. They didn't even finish that highlight, it was that bad. Quickly again, corner on the left. Go and see! And that was a hard shot, but not accurate. Braithwaite with a defensive throw, gets it to Dawson. Edwards and Jimenez back to Edwards, should have built up from there, Vassal. Braithwaite up to Simovsky. Come on! Alright, Edwards, Simovsky, Braithwaite. Can we stop playing in our half, please? Lee McShane up to Simovsky, just in their half, gives it away! But nope, I thought Jimenez had it, but come to Clement Shaw and then Travelos, whatever. Delamere, headed away, Vassal Jimenez gets it, and then McShane follows up. Lee, Mc <coughs> Lee McShane here. Higher to Gray, Lee McShane. Gray, Daz Gray launching upfield towards Jimenez, headed on. Well, Sian is there. Oh, denied by the woodwork. Looks like Salvender also drawing. 75 minutes, I definitely need to look to make some subs. Get distracted by the excitement. Michael Dawson can come, come off Leon Downs. Vassal Jimenez can come off with Kavanaugh Roof. Uh, and Simovsky can come off with Charlie Shimon. In the last 15 minutes or so, it'll be less than 15 then. Dawson, it's up to Lenahan. Higher. Dawson, around that area now. Takes his shot, but he'd have been better finding someone to follow him for him. That didn't go well. Oh, they've got a corner. Sometimes they start weirdly with their. Uh, you're not sure what's going on, but they've got a corner on the right from Delhi Water to take it. In it goes. Headed away, but it's back to Delhi Waters. And so it's out for the throw. And that's gone open play. Oh, Southend are actually losing. That looks good, five minutes to add on. There's three, there's four, and there's five. A draw gets us through, and that should be promotion. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right. I'll see you for the next game. All right, it's the last game of the season. We're now in second place, three points down on South End, because honestly, Ah, it's not been a good month. Win, uh, draw, draw, and loss. Not good. Why has it been like that? Well, let's see. Team selection. You can see we've got four of our primary. I mean, those two are always tight in defence when they're fit. He's usually on the pitch when he's fit. Shimmel plays frequently when he's fit. Who are was completely injured now for weeks. We've got Lenahan who's been out injured and is now having to warm the bench while he's still carrying part of that injury. 
Jimmy Price mm, that hasn't really played much for us, but he's competent en enough to play when he needs to. Still needs a couple of days to get back to form. Coming back from injury. And Reed needs a rest. This is the problem of a small team at the end of the season. We played really well through the season. Now the wheel's fallen off. And we're just going to see how it goes. I expect us to lose, to be honest. But if we do, that means we're in second place. Automatically promoted. Which is good enough for me. AFC Telford at flat 442. Yes, encourage. Higher with a attacking free kick just inside their half. I mean, one of our centre backs at the moment is Lee McShane, who's not even uh, skilled at playing at the back. Dawson, Simovsky, Clark turns it aside. First to go, the uh, first goal though was Oz. Where's the highlight? Corner here from Mello. Didn't do anything. So then that's still drawing as well. Essentially to go through, we need a win and we need them to lose. It's to go through as champions, I mean. McShane to Reed. Reed getting up on the uh, left. Bat nods it to Mello. Mello plays it into Dawson and it's taken away and Clark has it. Unfortunate. Good defensive work there by Telford. <laughs> Gray nods it down, him and his has it. Has to play it back to Gape though. Charlie Gape to McShane. Lee McShane to Joe Reed. And Lee McShane again. Chris Bat. Robbie Seal, Dawson, Mickey Dawson over to Simovsky. That's up in the air, off a defender, and Clark, uh, Clark Manchester turned that over the top just. We almost had a goal there, but almost isn't the same as having one. Simovsky with a corner from the left, in it goes. That's headed away. We will have chased that down. Jimenez has it. Oh, Jimenez. 20 minutes in. Mm, Jimenez, he's on the card, but he's got a... Uh... Oh, Miller's taking it. Attacking free kick! And Reed heads it home. Joe Reed, fifth goal of the season. What a time to get it. All right. That puts us ahead on the score sheet. Now, what is happening with South End? Where are Southend playing? They're drawing with Dartford. Come on, Dartford. <coughs> Mello with an attacking free kick into the box. And that's uh, straight into Clark's hands. High looping header. Clark just watched it come right to him. Stevens coming at us. Nope. His forward play failed and Reed gets hold of the ball. Bat. McShane Dawson to Mello on the left wing Reed that's played away and it's coming out as through Cronin on the on the left for them Telford's left to get to halfway line pop it across and that's nodded down by Reed for Dawson uh, Stevens has it it's over on Morrison uh, on the right wing for them. Morrison moving into the 18 yard box, shouting chance, and they've equalised. Give some encouragement. Get their heads up. Salven still drawing 0 0. Clark lost the ball upfield. 
McShane nods it down to Chris Bat. Joe Reed has to step between three players there to get it back to McShane. Lee McShane across to Daz Gray. And Jimenez. Forward for Dawson. What the hell was that? He completely skied it. I don't know what he was even doing there. Hayden with a throw in on the right for Telford. Quirk. Hayden forward to Stevens and Morrison. Oh, Mello intercepts the pass back. To Jimenez. Ah, given away by Jimenez there, but McShane heads it forward again. It's for this back. Up to Mello on the left. And Morrison takes it off him as he tries to move it forward. It's now with Simovsky. Reed. Plays it back to McShane at the halfway line. Reed again. McShane. And up to Chris Bat, then back to Gray and over to Reed. Joe Reed forward to Mickey Dawson. Plays Seal on who gets away from his marker. 2 1. Nicely done. This again puts in the position of watching out for what South End are doing. South End are losing to Dartford. Come on, Dartford. Don't really have much I can do with substitutions, honestly, but... Right, Turley. Plays it back to their keeper, Clark. The Telford keeper there. Launched long. Jimenez heads it across, bat nods it down, and it's with Mickey Dawson. Over to Mello. Dawson gets on the loose ball. Into the 18-yard box. It's taken off him. Oh, it's a penalty. We could be going 3-1 up. Dawson steps up to take it. How good is he? He gets it. Straight down the middle of Clark. Dives to the side. High and right wing Clark. Down the middle went Dawson. And that's in. 3-1. Give him some praise. South end. Ah, oh, they're back to drawing. Come on, Dartford. Come on, Dartford. Right. Uh, what do we do here to get people changed around? Nothing at the back. We have nothing we can do. The others are running well, apart from Vassal Jimenez. So I'll put Kavanaugh roof on for him. It's 3 1 up. Dartford are ahead again. 3 1 up at Dartford. Our defenders are exhausted, but we just have to press on. Michael Mello can come off for uh, Leon Downs. Dawson can come off for uh, Lenahan. I know he's a little injured, but a little is better than completely. Simovsky can come on for James Price, I guess. Let's see what we can do to finish this out. Dartford winning 3 1. Have we done it? Have we done it? On the final game of the season, have we done it? Let's head it away. Higher to Price. We're into time added on the seven minutes of it. We're just into it. Bat to McShane. Up to Reed and forward to Leon Downs. Leon Downs tackled there but gets away with it. And he comes, takes a shot and Clark grabs it out of the air gratefully. There's your first minute, there's your second, there's your third. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. We made it! Final game of the season and we are champions!
What a way to go. Start of the season said, can you get in the top half for us, please? And our lads and I said, we can get the championship. Is that good enough? That's good enough. Take a tape parade then. I'm not quite sure where the ticket tape's coming from. Apparently the God and God they said to win it. Oh, whatever's up in heaven. Look at that. Thank you, Dartford. We couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> we got lucky there. On that finish out. A win for us. And Dartford take it away from Stevenage. Uh, South End, sorry. Oh, they must be sore. Equal on points, 92 points. Both of us 12 ahead of third place. And 13 ahead of the top of the promotion playoff spots. But by seven goal difference advantage, we are champions. We are the champions, my friends. Right, when it's published, I will bring you the season summary. See you there. All right, here it is. End of season review. 2040-41 for Cheltenham Town. The new arrivals are a busy uh, season in the transfer market and it's safe to say there's been some good business done in bringing in key new signings. The most uh, important one, though, I think, is Saul Edwards. It was good. I don't know why it was the most important one. Uh, Mike Dawson, that was a good one to bring in. Hussein uh, Isol did good for us. Uh, 25 goals. Yeah, I want to keep him. Uh, and Dawson. Uh, I think we've got him on a multi-year contract. Braithwaite was a good one. Daz Gray was a good one, and Simovsky was a good one. I'm pleased with all of them, to be honest. Simovsky only scored three goals, had ten assists, um, but overall played pretty well. Not perfectly, but pretty well. And they are all, apart from Edwards, who's leaving, in position to keep building on that as we go forward. They should be competent enough to keep us up in uh, League One. I don't know about going further. There were scenes of a jubilant success for the Robins who came to form at the perfect time late in the season. So we were on form most of the season. We had a wobble late in the season. Finding consistent performances, they sent to the top spot and claim a most unlikely victory. That was not what you said at the beginning. You updated that, you buggers. Uh, final position first. Board are pleased that the team won the Sky Bet League 2 season. There's no doubt the fine run of results at the end of the season. <laughs> wasn't a fine run at the end. What are you talking about? Moments to remember. Biggest win 6 0 over Exeter. Two for Baxter, one for Dawson, one for Edwards, one for Seal, and one for Keegan. Match to remember 5 1 over Barnsley. Seal, Dawson, Downs, Jimenez. Russian Nussel and Skybet League 2 goal of the season for us uh, Hussian in 60 lovely goal from the Robin striker Hussian as he scores a thunderous drive or from thunderous free kick from 30 yards out yeah that was good 3-1 one of them being an own goal it has still been 2-1 alright the finances your success definitely helped the club's finances Club reputation, regional still, 2-2. Two, two. Um, sponsorship deals, overall sponsorship deals, two new deals, 229,000 per year. Annual re uh, revenue, sponsorship 339, same as last time. Broadcast revenue was down, why? Corporate and hospitality was up. Competition prize money was definitely up. And match day commercial and retail was also up a bit. Total merchandise sales 208,000. Zero for non domestic, that makes sense. Uh, 
how we ended up, how we rotate, oh, we rotate the season quite a bit this season, or rotated the team, splitting up playing time over the squad, demonstrating our strength in depth. For the few players we had, yes, I agree. So, the team we, and the best 11 we had, that's here now, Sal, up top. Lenahan, Dawson and Simovsky across the uh, attacking midfield. Jimenez in centre midfield with McShane in defensive midfield. Harriman, Gray, Reed, and Braithwaite at the back with Gape in goal. Sounds about right. Your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch and such a feat didn't go unrewarded at the end of the season with the ceremony. We had Sky Bet League 2 Manager of the Month for September. Sky Bet League 2 Manager of the Month for December. Hmm, not Manager of the Year then. Don't know why not. Player Awards. Fans Player of the Season was Rob Seal. Rob Seal was also the, uh, free, uh, the Player of the Season. Signing of the Season, Mickey Dawson. Goal of the Season, Jose and Asal. Most of this was Lena Han. Uh, most Player of the Match Awards was Rob Seal. Highest average rating was Lenahan, and most passes completed per 90 was Daz Gray. Record breakers, Rob Seal, most uh, player of the match awards. Your hard work and effort paid off on the pitch, and such a feat didn't go unrewarded at the end of our, our season. Okay. That spell of football in the middle of the season, that's more like it, was the making of Cheltenham. It really set them up for success. Grant Adamson, BBC Radio 5 Live. Look at that, champions. And it happened on the final day as well with us coming back from three points down. That was good. Tight, but good. Cheltenham finalised free transfer signing of talented youngster Simon Hedegger. Uh, he's just joined us. Going up. 17 goals uh, to help. Yep. Even in modern times, change of ownership are relatively few and far between at one club. That's why Joe Mitchell's takeover at Cheltenham was such a big victory. Yeah, but you're not investing anymore, are you, you bugger? All right. Cheltenham hit with tax bill. The club is facing a tax bill of about 350,000 over the upcoming financial uh, year, based on the financial records of the previous 12 months. The estimate is based on the club's taxable profits over the past year, being approximately 1.59 million. How can we not 1.59 million in the black then? That makes sense. Cheltenham trials finish. Yep, we've offered a. Uh, I think we've offered one or two contracts. That's all. Uh, commercial summary. Change the stadium price price ticket up to 22 percent. Uh, up to 22 dollars. Oh, he hasn't gone up any percent. It's the same. Uh, average season ticket price going up 1%. Expected yearly projection. I think that's bullshit. Capacity 7,000. With 3,000 ticket holders. Season ticket holders. New scouting budget is fine. Gabe named in Shelton overall best 11. Alright, that's the end of this season. Join us for the next season and uh, we'll see where we go in Sky Bet League 1. From the healing springs to the bustling stands Shelton arises, the game in our hands Under white cards, wall skies, our spirits fly The robins ascend, reaching high The echo of the races, the thrill of the chase A heartbeat as one, setting the pace Shelton and the town rise, it's wrong and proud Your community standing out from the crowd Our shafts through the air if you were thrive for the glory of Shelton, we come alive. Through GCHQ, silent echoes to our roaring field. Strategic plays and passions we wield. Legacy and future blend in our game. With every goal we build our fame. With every match, our legend grows. In Shelton's field, our victory souls. Shelton on time. If you were right for the glory of Shelton, we can't lie. 
legacy is the dream that never dies Every pass, every score, a legacy rewrite In the glow of our stadium, every night The race course is under his rallying call With your keys vision, will never fall Tottenham Town rises from the crowd Georgie leads a standing out from the crowd Our chance will be here In unity we fight for the glory of Tottenham We come alive Rise together Our dreams take flight Every game a testament to our collective might In the echoes of tears Our futures are told Together as one bold and bold In every heart of higher places From Tottenham Town to all Tottenham Town rising from the crowd Georgie Lee standing out from the crowd Our chance will be here In unity we fight for the 